Hey, spin enthusiasts. I'm so excited. I couldn't wait until I was like set up to do a nice fancy video for you guys. So I'm gonna tell you while I am on my way to go teach my Zumba class, if you are a <clears throat> subscriber to our email newsletter, you actually already know about what's gonna be happening for this season for the Spintronics Indoor Guard. We are moving from the Independent Regional A class up to Independent A class. I'm, oh, I'm so excited about it. It's gonna be so great. You know, we're gonna be competing against some really, really good color guards, guards that we've been watching for years and years and years. I mean, we've been competing in IRA for eight years. And some people are like, what the heck? Why didn't you just move up sooner or whatever? Well, here's the thing, like with our team, we, really didn't just need the training and didn't just need like the performance quality that you get from training these guards but really the big thing that we needed was the community support and so like we've got a good team of staff we've got a lot of we've got a lot of people involved and we've got some really great students but having the community support and like changing the culture of our area was the big thing that really tipped us over the edge to make it so that we could actually have a really good competitive team. And we've won our state championship for the last two years now because we've had that sort of community support. You know, we're not so much having to go out and explain ourselves when people are like, oh, oh, well you do color guard like indoors but we support the band already like like how is that different we have the high school marching band why do we have to have your organization too and they don't really understand like the difference between sort of this high school marching band culture and the winter guard culture and why our type of organization is necessary in our area I don't think there's any other schools that have a winter guard you know, I'm, there's a couple that do basketball game only winter guards, so they don't actually compete or anything. And then there's some that are, have sort of tried and they've had like a guard for a year and then got rid of the winter guard, so they didn't really compete or anything. But we are really a necessity in our area because there's not any other teams. And my hope is that with the advent of our team is that we are growing those kids that are gonna be the teachers, that are gonna be the leaders of tomorrow. And they are gonna go out into, into the, their own communities and they're gonna start their winter guard programs and then we're gonna have a bunch of high school winter guards spring up. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for to be happening. We have a lot of our kids and our former performers that are teaching different guards. And it's so funny because some of them come up to me and they're like, oh Jackie, I'm gonna start my own winter guard someday. I decided I'm gonna do just like you do and I'm gonna start my own winter guard and they're gonna come back and beat you and I'm like you know what I hope they do I hope you guys come and you, you make an awesome guard and that's you know that's what I want to see that's kind of my whole overall goal for this is that we are teaching those performers who are gonna be the teachers of tomorrow and and so anyway moving up a class is gonna really give us more of a, a drive to do better you know we were undefeated this season and we probably could stay in our class this next season and um, and get another medal, and then getting another medal would require us to move up into A class anyway the following season, but I really think that we're gonna be pushed a lot harder and have our own competitive streak if we're actually in that A class and we're already being kind of beat up by these really good guards, and, and I think it's gonna be really good for them. Uh, maybe beat up is the wrong term. I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for saying something like that, but whatever. You get the idea of what I mean. It's that they're gonna be pushed to be their best because I really think that they can do better, you know, not just being, you know, regional class gold medalists. They could possibly medal in A class at some point. You know, maybe not our first year out, but eventually. Anyway, I'm gonna go teach my Zumba class now. I, I'm i sorry this is like the least professional video of my life, but I just was really excited to tell you guys about this. Oh, we're also planning on going to a WGI show, so stay tuned for hearing more about that. That's another thing I'm really excited about. There's just a lot of good stuff coming this season. So anyway, I gotta go. I'm about to be late for Zumba. I will talk to you later.